uh, the questioner says uh, regarding the descending of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the last third of the night if it is in some countries it is at night and some countries it is day yani what is the questioner saying he's saying at certain countries it is night and at certain countries it is day and vice versa so it is always night this is what they mean so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is descending at all the times this is how their logic works this is what he means he asked the sheikh the sheikh answered he said this descending is befitting of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we don't indulge in it it is not to be indulged in it is not like the descending of people and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not like creatures so the the descending of Allah azza wa jal is a descending that is befitting of him in every country according to it if you did not answer i want to stop here i really want to stop here but if you didn't understand the 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 answer yani you are measuring descending upon the descending of human beings yes human beings they have to always be uh, they have to always descend and this is what we understand because this is what we are but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sees everything do you know anybody who sees everything of course not we can't even imagine how we can't even imagine seeing everything allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears everything somebody might say the same thing as of the nuzul it's always night he could say uh, how can you hear everything it's not going to make sense we say La, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears everything and sees everything and knows everything if it was us that we're hearing a lot of things we wouldn't understand them it's noises for us you see how we cannot compare cre creation to the creator this is what he meant to Imam Ibn Baz. He said, this is not to be indulged in. This is Allah Azza wa Jal. How, how do you know the descending of Allah Azza wa Jal and how it is? And that he must be descendant in every country. And uh, Allah, la, la, the descending of Allah Azza wa Jal is different. We're talking about the one who created the heavens and the earth. It's not as simple as I measure it on myself and I see how it works for human beings. And then I start saying, well, it is the same thing as Allah Azza wa Jal. It's befitting of him and we don't know how. He did not inform us, subhanahu wa ta'ala.